Every microphone has a pattern of directionality. Its pattern is the sensitivity to sound based on the direction the sound comes from relative to the microphone. There are four basic mic patterns. Cardioid, super or hypercardioid, omni, and figure eight. The first type on this list is the most common and might be the pattern that almost all of your mics have, cardioid, which means heart-shaped. In the olden days, they were called unidirectional because they respond best at the front face of the mic and they respond less at the back of the mic. Now it's not magic. The back of the mic still picks up sound, but on a typical cardioid, it can be 25 dBs less responsive at the back of the mic than it is at the front, which is to say, a lot. And not only does the mic respond to less volume at the back of the mic, the frequency balance usually changes too. So as you move off to the side of a cardioid, they can start to sound worse. All cardioid mics, including super and hypercardioid, exhibit the proximity effect, meaning that the closer a sound is to the mic, the more the mic exaggerates the bass frequencies. Make sure you check out the video on proximity effect for more details. Cardioid mic patterns are very useful on stage. The directionality they exhibit at the front of the mic helps the mic focus on whatever's in front of it. But where the back of the mic points is also very important. The pattern really works and can be used to your advantage to reject sounds you don't want to pick up with the mic, like the monitor in front of your singer. So point the front of a cardioid directly at what you want to pick up and point the back at the thing you want to pick up the least of. Both are important. The next pattern in the list is super or hypercardioid. Supercardioid mics are directional too, but in a significantly different way than cardioids. Notice that the pattern is much narrower in the front. So these mics need to be pointed very directly at the source, or if you're singing in one, you need to stay directly in front of it. But notice the pattern in the back. Supercardioids actually pick up some sound in the back of the mic. Now hypercardioids are slightly less directional in the front and slightly more sensitive at the back, but basically work the same way. So the best rejection of sounds on these mics is to the sides. They exhibit the proximity effect too. I know a church that bought all supercardioid mics for their singers because they thought supercardioids were better than regular cardioids. One of the things they wanted me to help them with was the feedback they were getting through their monitors. Well, they had a row of seven supercardioids, which still pick up sounds at the back of the mic, and the backs were all pointing at their monitors. It was a case of using the wrong mic for the application. The next pattern on the list is omni, or omnidirectional. This means that the mic responds equally in all directions, so it doesn't matter which direction they point only how close they are to the source. They don't exhibit the proximity effect either, so putting them close to the source does not change the bass response in any way. Typically, your lavalier or lapel mics are omnis, so they can be placed very near the source, like your pastor, and the direction they point doesn't matter. But they will pick up sound all around them easily, including your monitors and your PA speakers, so they're more prone to feedback. Please watch the video on the inverse square law to learn about why it's important to put mics close to the source, especially omnis. The fourth pattern type is figure eight. It's exactly what you think. They respond equally in the front and the back of the mic, but reject sounds to the sides. This is a pattern you may never see on a stage, but it's fairly common in recording. They're used in the mid-side technique, using a cardioid mic facing forward and a mic with its figure eight pattern pointing to the sides. This is commonly used to make stereo recordings. Musicians, speakers, and sound techs need to be aware of the response patterns of the mics they use. If you're a singer or speaker, it helps you understand how to hold or address a mic. If you're wearing a lavalier, it tells you why it's important to put it close to your mouth. If you're the sound tech, it will guide how you place and point the front and the back of every mic on your stage. I'm Greg Hill.
for AV Genius.